Hello everyone and welcome to Choose Your Own Galactic Adventure. I have a game here that's going to be hopefully a bit of interest for all the Minecraft fans, being that it's a bit of a sandbox game. It does have a plot, but it's not really the main focus of the game. And the voice acting in the plot ranges from bad to... I can't tell if that's a text-to-speech program or a person. Actually, that's not fair. The text-to-speech program in this game is actually pretty good. Anyway, this is X3 Avalon Prelude. I think that's right. So how I'm going to do this is every episode or every segment, if something takes more than one episode to do, I'm going to have a viewer poll, and you'll tell me what I, what you want me to do next of a list of options. Wow, that's a pretty looking ship. Such as, which start should I take? There's a whole list of these, I'm going to go through them, and comment, and tell me which start you want me to choose. So we have Argon Peacekeeper. We do not have Terran Commander because that disables the plot. Um, Argon Patriot. Humble Merchant. Oh, I should probably... Close to the front lines of the Argon Terran War. Aid the Federation in any way possible with the tools at your disposal. Difficulty Average. Argon Patriot. Difficulty Normal. What's the difference between difficulty normal and difficulty average? I have no idea. You serve in the Argon military, protecting the Argon race from enemies near and far. By the way, Argon are humans, effectively. Just not Earth humans or something like that. Okay, humble merchant. Difficulty not all that hard. Leverage your business skills to master and dominate the... Trade lanes, amass the ultimate fortune, and spread the fingers of your empire to the far reaches of the stars. Also Argon. Bankrupt Assassin. Most assuredly hard. Your combat skills are formidable, but your bank account is not. Your capacity for destruction is your only tool for clawing your way above the rest of the world's petty scum. Tormented Talati. Difficulty hard. Life was good until you got too greedy, and the Prophet Guild caught up with you in your illegal operations. Now you face a race against time to retrieve your specially modified ship before it's confiscated for good. Unholy Traitor. Pretty hard. Caught stealing Paranid military secrets and disavowed by your government, your only chance now is to flee these sectors and start anew. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Split and Paranoid Paranid are racial enemies. It's going down. Talati Traffical. Trafficker. Reasonably hard. It's all about the profits. Make the big buxoids and leave your mark on the business world for generations to come. Not quite sure why that one's hard. Maybe you don't start off with much money. Savage Split. Slightly hard. Claim glory for your downtrodden family on the field of battle. Wield the weapons, cunning, and strength of a true warrior, and vanquish any foe who stands in your path. Anonymous Argon. Difficulty Average. Seize your rare and precious opportunity to earn a name for yourself. Stand apart from your millions of fellow Argon citizens and etch your name in the stone of history. Boring born. Difficulty average. Not being royalty makes it exceedingly difficult to command any expect at all. Prove your noble worth as a lar to the kingdom and to the rest of the universe. While you're at it. Pious Paranid. Difficulty just a bit hard. Honor the glorious commands of Tsar and Take your place among the loyal saints. Shine as a beacon of holiness and purity to the ignited aliens of the universe. Okay, 
Nostalgic Argon. Difficulty normal. After several years of lackluster trading, you give it all up to relive, relive the glory days. Setting off from the Har Argon homeworld, you have little more than basic than a basic ship and a thirst for adventure. Okay. And that's all the choices. I'm not going to choose this one because this is like hardcore mode and you die quite a lot in this game. At least I do. Whoops. Well, let me go back. I did not mean to do that. Anyway, the start you pick chooses your race, which doesn't have any effect on the stats or anything. It affects your reputation with the other races, how much money you have to start with, where you start. Let me exit out of this. Quit the game. Yes. Okay, where is it? Okay, how much money you start with, which ship you start with, which weapons are in that ship. How, how equipped the ship is, so the ship and everything attached to it. And that's pretty much it. All these are a varying difficulty based on, like I said, there. And that's kind of somewhat subjective and somewhat on what goals you choose for yourself. A lot of this game can be however hard you want it to be and however easy you want it to be. Just by going one path or the other. So I'm going to wait maybe a day, maybe two days, maybe longer to give people a chance to comment. So comment which one you want. And I will pick the winner. If there's a tie, I will flip a coin or maybe just pick whichever one I feel like or something. Do some kind of time breaker, tiebreaker. Maybe I will do an episode with all the tiebreakers starting out and then have another vote. Just to give you more information. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for now. Leave a comment, which starting option you want, and I will play the first little bit of the game with that, and we'll have another vote for what comes after. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.